What's up guys? We're here right now in my friend Anthony's house. This guy. What's up? We've been friends for how long? 2000... 2009. 2009. 2009. Plus points for anyone who knows like who owns this room. Comment down below if you if you know whose room this is. Morning guys, I was supposed to make today's upload kagabe when I was with my friend and I was able to shoot a little bit but obviously we haven't seen each other for a long time and I just wanted to hang out so I wasn't able to shoot very much else so I'm just gonna continue today's upload this morning I'm gonna do a tutorial that many of you have asked about in the Pagudbud video there's a simple effect that I used in that video that many of you want to learn how to do yourselves so I'm gonna teach you guys that today So sometimes there's so many things that we have to do in the day. You have to feed the cats, you have to water the plants, you have to do the dishes, you have to edit a daily video. Don't you wish that there was some way to clone yourself so that you can do multiple tasks at once? Well, in the real life, of course not. There's no such thing, there's no such way to do that. But in video editing, there is. So this effect is actually really simple to do and it works on the same principle as split screen. Tama ka dyan, buddy. Actually, yung effect na ipapakita namin today is the same thing as the split screen effect but done multiple times in the same clip. Ah, uh, so you know how to do this effect? Ah, oh, oh, okay. Gusto mong pakita namin sa kanila ngayon. Sige, gawin natin. So this is a pretty simple effect that can be done on pretty much any editing software that has cropping or masking and keyframe functions. I'll be using Adobe Premiere for this particular tutorial, but this can also work with Final Cut, with Sony Vegas, and I think even iMovie has keyframe and masking functions, so you can do this in iMovie as well. Okay, so to start with, you're going to want to shoot some footage that you want to put the motion cloning effect on. And to do that, you're going to need a tripod because your shot needs to be static. When you shoot your footage, you're going to need to make sure of two things. First, that you have a few seconds in your clip where there isn't any movement that is happening on the camera. We call this a clean plate, and this will be the background layer in which you will place the effect on. The second thing that we need from your footage is the element that we want to clone and we want to make sure that it moves from one end of the screen to another. It doesn't have to move in a straight line, it just needs to enter the frame and leave the frame. And it doesn't have to be a person, it can actually be anything. It can be an animal, or a car, or even an airplane. Okay, so once you have those two things recorded, drag the clip into your editing software and make a new sequence and then drag the clip into your sequence. Now we need to cut those two elements that we talked about earlier into separate clips. So let's cut the clean plate and we'll leave it on the bottom track. And then we'll cut the part of the clip which has the element that we want to clone and put it on the track right above the clean plate. Now we're gonna create a mask around the element that we want to clone. So to make this easy, we'll scrub forward to where we have the element in the middle of our path and create the mask there. But like I said earlier, we can also use the crop tool for this, but it's just easier to use the masking tool. We can feather the mask so it blends in more with the background. Once we have the mask around the object, we have to keyframe the path of the mask. And then we just make sure that the mask is around the element throughout the entire clip. Okay, so once that's done, all you need to do now is to copy your mask clip and then drag the new clip onto a new track and then move it slightly off sync and then you can repeat it over and over until you get this.
If you guys want to share with me your attempts in using this effect, then you can share your videos with me on Instagram, Twitter, or Facebook. I hope you guys liked today's video and I hope you guys can use this effect on your own vlogs or in whatever kind of video that you make. Personally, I really like this effect because it emphasizes motion and movement and I like to have a lot of that in my own shots. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys again tomorrow.